Okay, guys, so a brand new Roblox Piggy chapter is finally out, chapter nine, book two, and it is pretty wild. Now, today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the biggest mysteries, one of the biggest twists, one of the biggest questions I have after playing through the chapter. I'm sure many of you guys have it, and that is whether or not Pony is infected. Is Pony going to turn into an infected? Is this the end of Pony? Because as you guys probably know, if you go into the chapter, the moment that Pony sees the bot, Marcus, this guy right here, Pony will actually go and try to fight him. And then Marcus actually hits him, he punches pony right in the face or stabs him or, or something he does something knocks pony down and pony is out for the rest of the chapter he's just sitting there laying on the ground he's hurt he's confused and he, he just has to rest a little bit is what he says and then we don't see pony again until the end of the chapter where we get to the cutscene with tigri and then we get the explosions and robbie and all of that now in this cutscene pony seems fine he doesn't seem to be infected we don't see any visible marks on his body no scratches no bruises no no bleeding anything like that but the question still remains is pony infected because as we know, it can take a few hours for you actually to fully turn into an infected. So let's take a look at this. So first, we need to look at exactly how you get infected in the Piggy universe. Well, as far as I know, there are two ways you can become infected. Number one is by taking one of Mr. P's potions, which of course there are no more of that. So that's just completely out of the question. And then number two is getting attacked by an infected Piggy. Now, the interesting thing here is one of the other major characters that of course have been uh, infected is of course Zizzy. And when she got infected, she has a little scratch mark on her arm. You can see it right there. That's where the infected piggy scratched her, or in this case, Polly. He scratched Zizzy right there on the arm, and Zizzy is now infected. Now, the interesting thing here is we don't exactly know what Mini Toon means by attacks. Like, does it mean you have to get scratched? Does it mean you have to be bitten like a zombie? Does it mean you have to be punched? Like, what exactly happens? The only thing we really have to go off of here is the note that we had in Chapter 11, the outpost, all the way back in Book 1. Guys, Chapter 11 is out, and boy, do I I have a few secrets for you. Guys. Shout out to Mr. Ant Antics's video here because all the way back in the outpost map is this whiteboard and this whiteboard has a secret decoded message on it. And when you decode it or encode a message and then when you decode it, it says this. It says, I was attacked by one of them and now I am here wondering just like them. Keep in mind, it says attacked. It doesn't say scratch. It doesn't say bitten. It doesn't say punch. It just says attacked. So it doesn't really specify here. It just means that you have to be attacked by one of the infected. And uh, of course, we have some more evidence to kind of back this up in the infected game mode. You don't actually have to be scratched or or bitten or anything you just have to be attacked like for example i could be penny piggy here i could hit someone with the baseball bat and then of course they turn into an infected now of course you could argue that the infection game mode isn't exactly canon to the story it's just a game mode in the game so i shouldn't really be using that as evidence and so i i, I won't let's actually go back though to book one chapter one where we actually get attacked by by the by, i guess penny piggy at the beginning of chapter one here we wake up in the house you know what it is now of course the question here is we were attacked by the infected yet we didn't actually turn into an infected. Now, we don't exactly know why that is, but we do know that at some point in the story, the player did did contract the infection because in the true ending, Mr. P says that he found uh, traces. He found some of the infection inside of the player. How did it get inside the player? Well, the only time we were ever attacked or drank a potion or anything like that in book one was at the very beginning when we were attacked by the piggy. So what this means is that being attacked, pure period does in fact transfer the infection. It doesn't seem to matter if you're scratched. It doesn't seem to matter if you're bit. It doesn't seem to matter if you're hit with a baseball bat. If you are attacked by an infected piggy, you then turn into an infected piggy. So um, does that mean that Pony's infected? Well, I, I guess so. I guess this does in fact uh, hint that Pony may be ending his final days here. Now keep in mind that it can take a few hours for you to fully become infected. Bunny got attacked in the hospital and it wasn't until an hour or two later that she actually fully turned into an infected and being that this chapter happens within the span of maybe you know five to ten minutes depending on how fast you are we'll just say 10 minutes pony still got a few hours left but there is something that i found that i do find pretty interesting if you find all the secret lore pages inside of this new chapter and you go to the lore book it actually gives you a little rundown of the chapter just like it does with all the other ones i'm gonna read this out to you real quick it says we landed at doport to discover willow's tugboat already there the tiger arrived before 
for us. Pony and I searched ahead to find a way to get to the surface. It wasn't something we were looking forward to, to say the least. Just when I thought the voices were over, they came back to haunt me. It seems they tormented Pony as well. It appeared as though he was losing his mind. The creature chasing us gave us headaches as we made our way through the facility. We eventually discovered a passageway to the surface. Now, here's the interesting thing, all right? I'm not going to read the rest of it because the hint is actually right here. It says, the creature chasing us. Keyword here is the creature. Now, the reason why I find this interesting is if we go back one chapter to chapter eight and re we read through this lore book, it says right here in the middle of the book, Mimi explained that there were no infected to be found in the ship. Keyword here, infected. In all the other pages, in all of the other books, whenever they're talking about an infected piggy, they always use the word infected. However, in this lore book, in chapter nine, it doesn't say infected. It says the creature chasing us gave us headaches. So what does this mean? Well, I believe this means that Marcus, the creature in this chapter, the infected in this chapter, isn't actually infected. And we actually have some lore to back that up because if we look at Marcus's skin, well, we see a few things. We see the eye of insolence right there. That's very clear. But his other eye, we see nothing. There is no infected people. If we look at a skin like Coley here, you can see there's the eye of insolence, but there's also an infected pupil. If we look at someone like Dessa, there's the infected pupil right there. Marcus has no infected pupil, which means he's not actually infected. He's just been taken over by the insolence. That's that's the only thing. He's got the eye of insolence, but no infection. So this means that uh, according to the lore here, if I'm correct, Marcus could attack Pony all day long and Pony would never actually get infected because Marcus isn't actually infected. He's just been taken over by the insolence or Mr. Stitchy or whatever in the world this is. That's why Minitoon used the word creature and not the word infected. So unless I'm vastly overlooking this or vastly over reading this and looking too far into it, I believe that Pony isn't actually infected. I think he's going to survive. I think he's going to be just fine. So hopefully this answers your questions about whether or not Pony is infected, whether or not he's going to live. I think he will based on this evidence. Of course, if you guys haven't yet subscribed, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. I got some more lore videos just like this coming out well the, later this week, more tomorrow, the next day, and day after that. New lore videos every single day. So make sure you're subscribed and keep using star code real creep when you're buying your Robux and Roblox Premium. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys later for a brand new video. Bye! Bye.